Back in 2019 at CES, Holleride gave us a ride in a specially outfitted Audi on a track to test out its VR headset. You could play a game as the car was driving around. It was impressive then. Well, now back here in 2021, we're taking a ride in a Holleride vehicle, except it's not a specially outfitted vehicle. It's just the VR headset and we're gonna drive around in San Francisco's Mission District. Holleride is a system that uses data from a vehicle. It is a VR system. So the VR headset you're playing and the game you're playing are informed by the vehicle's movements. If the vehicle turns left, you turn left in the video game. If the vehicle accelerates, you accelerate in the video game. You stop, it stops. Everything that happens in the vehicle informs the video game. It's an interesting experience. Unlike CES where there was a predetermined route, the Holleride folks wanted to show me that we can do this, well, anywhere, anywhere where there's roads and a driver who's happy to uh, roll you around while you're playing a video game. And we are currently in the Mission District. If you live in the Bay Area, you know that the Mission District is very busy. And so, woo, it's also very uh, bumpy. What Holleride is, is a system. It usually has an SDK so that developers can create for it. It is not a standalone proprietary headset. It works with other headsets. So if you already have a VR headset, you don't have to go out and buy a new one in order to use Holleride. The Holleride system itself interacts with the vehicle. Now, Holleride has to have a partnership with the vehicle in order to get permission from the vehicle to share that data with the VR headset and of course the game you're playing. And because it's not a proprietary headset, it should work with most modern day headsets and most modern day vehicles as long as they get permission from the automaker. It'll also work with tablets and other mobile devices. Currently, Holleride is working with Audi, Porsche, Mercedes, and Ford. Those are the four partners it has within the automaker world. Again, it needs those partners in order to get the data from those vehicles. During the demo, Holleride showed us two games, one where we're essentially shooting a cannon at bubbles that was, of course, informed by how the vehicle was driving. If the vehicle turned left, then the cannon I was driving turned left. The second game, I was a floating robot hovering in the air. And again, as the vehicle turned left or right, I turned left or right within the world. And while I was playing that game, I had to fight drones and pick up crystals and it was all very exciting. Now, these are not production games. These are demo games. They're not high resolution. Holleride wants to make it very clear these are not what the games will look like when they go to market. These are pre-production just to show off the technology. And as someone who once tried to play Unreal Tournament on a Mac, on a PowerBook uh, sometime in the early 2000s and then got very nauseous within 30 seconds, I'm amazed at the, the lack of latency. I don't feel nauseous at, nauseous at all. Everything is sort of working, you know, as I move my head, as the car is moving, with the bumps, everything that's going on, nothing, it, it feels very natural. You know, with VR to me is sort of the, the big thing. If, as long as you're not getting sick, you're doing a pretty good job because I remember early uh, systems, that wasn't always the case. The way the Holleride system works is that developers create games, you can buy the game, but you also have to subscribe to the Holleride service. Holleride gets some money, the automaker gets some money, the developer gets some money for selling you the game, so everyone sort of makes money except for you who's paying money in order to sit in a car and play video games. One of the big selling points from Holleride is that it is an elastic experience. It's not really linear. So if it's set up to read information from the vehicle's navigation and the vehicle's navigation knows you're gonna be driving for say 40 miles, which is about 40 minutes, it, the games can create a game that lasts 40 minutes or 30 minutes or 20 minutes based on information it's getting from the vehicle. So a game, every time you get into your vehicle, it might be a different game, depending on how long you're in the vehicle and the location. Holleride is currently talking to developers in order to create games for this system. It expects its application to be available in the summer of 2022. For more automotive coverage with VR headsets strapped to our face, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.